All right, let's do it. Let's go over T90's game that I played earlier today. Um, because when I played it, I thought that there was just two things you should have done. One is just defending well with spears, like that's the first main thing, and then the third is defending well with scouts. Or I mean, uh, harassing well with scouts. Let's take a look at Dark Age really quick. Size up the map. His map's really bad. Um, I guess you could wall this section. Actually, I think what a lot of people would do too is they wouldn't even take this wood. It kind of sucks to do it this early on. And if I had all the time in the world to think about it, I would just put both lumber camps over here and just really try to hold this. <laughs> uh, because you're going to have to take the gold anyway, and you still might as well put everything in this spot. The one main drawback of it is that, like, look how close this is on the minimap to the middle. And so it's going to be really hard to hold. But it's a little easier than getting, like, uh, picked apart by stuff later on. Mainly scouts. Yeah, let me zip through it, see how it's Dark Ages. I think he mentioned something like he tried to push deer to me earlier or something. End up just going scouts. I was debating going rush fast castle and pushing the deer, but I was having a hard time pushing the deer. So I ended up going scouts. I put four on wood early. Threw this slumber camp over here for good saturation. I debated putting it back here. That's something you can do to be really, really safe, but I wanted to be greedy and had a pretty decent map. This isn't that hard to defend. Um, let's see though. Okay, T90 skinny loom. Looks like he's up a little late. But let's fast forward it a little more. Okay, didn't push deer or anything. Is that 1030? Yeah. Good wood saturation over there by the lumber camp, so everything's hitting like its own tree and stuff. So like I pushed a lot of deer. I think I pushed four, so that's why my food's so high. So it's actually probably a bad dark age for how much stuff I pushed. Yeah, it was. Like 2576 total resources gathered. 1620. Well, I guess that's easy to do. Um, that's 23. 20 total resources for T90, so that's like not going to be enough. If you do like someone who 22 pop forwards with four vills, they end up having this amount of resources gathered total. Usually ends up being something more like 15, 35, and 800 some wood collected. Uh, to do scouts though, I haven't like done it in reverse, like engineered it, but I'm sure you could on like how much all the vills cost to make in Dark Age and stuff. But I feel like if I don't have 1650 food in the bank right now, ga or gathered right now, like you just can't even make your scouts, your first four and stuff with vills. You have to end up idling your TC a little bit. Plus it's always good to see if you have a sheep left because you should have one full sheep left right now. Trying to push a deer, he's getting that. Uh, so if we go to me, I don't have any sheep left, but I'm missing two sheep. I did, was able to delay all my farms uh, until I got horse collar though, so I didn't have to do the first two because I pushed four deer in. And so, yeah, I can make like two bills in Q and two scouts in Q, and I can make a spear if I wanted to or whatever. And at that point, you're just trying to drop all the wood into farms. T90 doesn't have a stable up quite yet, but I'm going to see if he can afford everything. Yeah, it looks like he can, but it was a little late. That stuff's really minor, though. Let me fast forward through it. No one likes to do that stuff anyway. So right now his stable's idle, and he has three scouts out with a spear, where I have four scouts out. Like, this is almost out, and there's another one in queue, and I've got a veil in there. Looks like I'm actually going to have to idle the TC a little bit. Should cancel that scout and do a bill and idle the stable instead, but uh, whatever. Oh, I can do a bill now. But yeah, all this stuff's idle. Always good to look at the farms. Like, I don't know, what's that, like 11 maybe? 
Looks like I already have like 11 up and a lot on berries, so I'm ready to take gold, basically. 34 pop and take gold. Usually 13 minutes, 10 seconds. A little behind. Whatever. And if you go through Viper Rex, too, um, they have a spear there because this feels really vulnerable on the bottom of a hill. I'm using these scouts here to protect the wood and the berries. And another spear almost coming out. What Viper will do is he won't make this spear here a lot of the times when he plays the 2Ks. And so that lets him get, like, you want to make this spear, but he's just trying to make it harder for himself. And it does let him, like, click up just a little earlier <laughs> and do other stuff. It's not that big of a deal. A lot of times he only makes one spear, though, and won't even make, like, three. I like to make uh, more so I don't die. And berries, you can have more on berries right now. That's really minor though. Okay, the biggest thing is like when you have a map like this, is like how are you going to take your gold? Whenever your gold's in front, if they forward you, drush you, or drush flush, or do anything with early types of aggression, or even the scout thing, I could do forward scout spear. I could do scouts with like an earlier range, so I just make these scouts delay my gold, do a range with three skirms, or something like Spring Lake's doing, and like just to delay this. And or they'll do like 21 pop up with all that stuff and then throw a tower right here. And so like that's one of the reasons Doubt likes to do is like drush uh, scout things because it lets you keep kind of unit control. I shouldn't have got hit there. I remember that when I was playing. Um, but it lets you keep control just like a lot of military stuff out so that you can take your gold later safely. Um, so it's not even, and then like do the brush best you can to pressure them, obviously, because you don't just want to do it for defense. Uh, building placement, I won't worry too much about. Ideally up here, so now he's going to try to take his gold. It's so, like one thing you'll notice is like if this happens to you with the first four scouts, and I'm trying desperately not to take any damage from his spear at this point, uh, he's going to hit me. It helps to like touch their eco and then not have your eco be touched and like that's pretty much the gist of it. Like not even I don't like build kills are great, but you're scouting what they're doing and then first and foremost cuz that's free, right? And then if you can idle their eco, I guess that's like second on my list. Let me go through it first cuz like for the first four scouts is like a little different. Like if you can kill a vill, like go for it. Kill a spear and then a vill. It's not worth it, I think, to even get hit by a spear if you don't have the threat to kill a vill or idle their eco right after. Because most of the time I'm going bloodline anyway, and then it's better to just have a more healthy scout for the bloodline scout than it is to get hit at all with the spear. Um, And like that just comes from like if you just take the percentage of the damage from the scout, it ends up being cheaper to make the spear and get one hit than it is for like to take the damage from the scout or something. Like 67% of like 80, I think, is how much HP you have left after getting hit by a spear once. It ends up being like 54 resources. And a spear is like 60 or I don't know. Um, that doesn't really matter so much. It's more just whatever. Basically, you want to kill stuff or keep your scouts alive. Just don't ever get hit by a spear. Like at this point, where if you have bloodlines, you can. So, I'm just trying to defend with spears and keep everything in like nice centralized space. So like here the spears can defend the gold and the wood. And uh, here it's defending this wood and I had my scouts rallied over there so everything's safe. And then I'm just trying to like not even kill anything in your eco. But, scout what you're doing. Okay so here's good harass, you kill the vill here. Here's that vill's gonna die. Um, town watch there would have been nice. Okay, I'm trying to scout what you're doing, because usually everyone takes their gold at like 13 to 14, 30 mark, right? And then just touch your eco to idle a little bit and to take away their multitask. And then just defend in my base best I can. Like, that's all you're trying to do literally from like the... I don't even know when the first four scouts are out, like... 12-ish minute mark to like now and get your farms down and take your gold and keep everything working as efficiently as possible 
and the berries are usually done. So like when you hit my vill there, you kill the vill, plus you idle all this a little bit and you're taking my attention away. So like while I'm trying to harass you here, like if I'm playing someone who's like real, like if I'm playing Viper here, what's going to happen is he's going to be killing all these scouts with spears because they're in a good spot already. And then I'm like simultaneously taking damage here and damage here is what usually happens I feel like. That's the gist of it though, there's like nothing special. It's just like more planning your base. Like everything is this part of the game I feel like. Like the rest doesn't even matter. Um, like range is up here because usually by the time you send your bills to the gold, that's when you want your ranges right. It, they just go, like they line up together. And so if you're up here anyway, might as well make the ranges with some bills up here. Versus down here, there's not really anything. And you kind of want to be rallying to your gold with the archers or whatever, because then if I attack here, they're ready fast to pop out. Um, and it keeps everything a little safer, and you just want the vision. Where the vision down here doesn't matter so much. But you can kind of see already like how many points there are to defend on your base. Like You've got the gold here, which is really, really vulnerable, because like the first thing that always helps is like always just glance at the mini-map and just look. Um, let's just take even all my stuff off the minimap. Like here on the minimap, if you just look at this square, it's so close to anything, no matter what position I'm in. As soon as you get closer to the middle, it becomes more and more vulnerable, especially if, in f if it's in front of your TC. Like so this is going to be a problem. It gets really hard too when you have something that's behind your TC, but is still really vulnerable, like this wood line, if you're not going to wall this part off. Uh,. So this is going to be really hard to defend. It's kind of a pain to defend back here against someone who's good at raiding and harassing. This is a liability, and then like this is obviously a big liability. Uh, so that's like the first thing. That's like all I'm trying to like plan in my head is like where's the optimal spot to put spears and my archers to quickly defend against everything. And if you don't wall, it's not going to be perfect. Like sometimes you're going to have to put your spears up here. If someone sneaky comes and sneaks down way on the edge of the map with scouts and hits you uh, like here this way, then you're going to have to like move these vills over here and move the spears up here down here. So it's not ideal because you can't keep them like right in your wood line. But you're going to have to do little stuff like that a lot and just uh, if you don't wall like and just deal with it because like you're having to average like the average response time for all places they can hit if that makes sense. You can't just like do it for perfectly for like one area all the time that's pretty much it though and then it's all just trying to keep your eco going as well as possible while uh while harassing and raiding the other guy so like i'm not really trying to kill the vills just like i don't your eco and then like beat you up the castle or if you want to just do like early fletching action and try to like i guess i could try to abuse this hill or something I'm not really the biggest fan of that, so I don't really like doing it, but it works well. I think it's good to do. Uh, it's good to be able to know how to do, because you kind of have to do it on some maps, and it's fun. Good to work on stuff. Um, but yeah, like my ranges are here, so if archers come up here, like they can't really so easily hit this. And if they have to come around, like they're going around the hill. So like I'll have this hill here, they have whatever bonus damage or whatever. Uh, easy to come out here, so this keeps everything over here safe. This is pretty vulnerable because it's on the bottom of a hill, but they have to be careful because if you get too far down here, then I can just swing around this way. Um, and this is, I guess that's kind of vulnerable because there's not really anything over here, but it's not the biggest deal. If they come over here, I'm just going to move this back over here. That's pretty much it though, I think. Uh, if you were to forward, this is actually a good map to forward me on. Just keep me off the gold, but it is really close to my TC. It's the only thing. You had a good map I could forward on, maybe too, because all your stuff's like forward, all the gold. Backstone though. But you can see like later on, like if you wanted to try to like play this map, you just kind of have to get ahead at this point in the game. And then with the expo, because then you want to get a TC up here and everywhere else. Uh, after this wood's gone, all your three wood here are forward. I wouldn't worry too much about that though. It's all just the scout spear part. I thought was straightforward so basically to sum it up like the dark age is free it's just nice to have a good clean dark age so you get the units out on time i've said it before but like it won't win you the game but it will for sure throw it if you're you're just like already putting yourself behind for free stuff right 
Um, and the second thing is just like, I was doing this wrong, like even like a month ago, I think definitely two months ago where I didn't understand like one, have your spears grouped together. Cause one spear just gets mowed down by someone with good micro. And then you kind of have to just put them like in a good centralized location. You can't put them exactly where you want them to be to like not take any damage at all. Like bills take some time to die. Right. So like, you're going to have to put them like maybe here so that they can re respond in a decent amount of time to both the berries and the wood. But yeah, that's why it helps to like not even it's not even a reaction time for like when stuff hits you. It is, but it isn't. It's uh like predicting where they're going to hit and stuff like that. That's pretty much it, and so that's what makes it so hard. But yeah, if you get that down, you can get away with a lot more later. And then just work on the expo part of the game, and then like that's pretty much it. That gets you like super high rated really fast. I feel like. Oh, let's see. Let's go to the last. Now, I'm just going to end this video here. It's already 16 minutes. So, yeah, hopefully that helped. See you later.